Hello everyone, my name is Samia Sen Gupta. And my name is Nupur Sakpa. We are from class 10 and class 9 and are delighted to be hosting the first episode of season 7 of Smart360 More Than Just News. This bulletin series promises to update you on the happenings in the world and on all the campuses of GIIS. The idea is to share information, generate curiosity and spread knowledge and also have fun while learning new things. So let's begin. Recently, GIIS Smart Campus had the honor of hosting Dr. Kiran Bedi, India's first IPS officer, as part of a leadership lecture series. It was such an incredible experience for our students. The whole auditorium was buzzing with excitement as our students soaked in all the valuable lessons Dr. Bedi shared. From her personal journey to tips on leadership and managing academics alongside extracurriculars, she covered it all. And let's not forget the panel discussion where students from GIIS Tokyo, Witty International School and OS Nanyang got to ask interesting questions through recorded videos. Dr. Bedi's message about gratitude and the importance of starting volunteer work early really resonated with everyone. Her wisdom truly left a mark on all of us. It was such an inspiring day for our students. Initiatives like that give us the chance to connect with leaders from different fields and broaden our perspectives. Speaking of opportunities, our students from grades 6 to 9 recently embarked on an educational trip to Fort Canning Park. It was a remarkable experience. They had the opportunity to explore the Heritage Museum, traverse the Spice Garden and engage in meaningful team building activities. The trip was designed to blend adventure with educational insights. Moreover, it provided them with a glimpse into historical context of the Singapore-Japanese War during World War II. These immersive experiences serve as pivotal moments in shaping the character and knowledge base of our students. We're excited to highlight the achievement of Alina Santosh, an outstanding student from GIIS Tokyo campus. Her academic accomplishments are truly remarkable. Absolutely. Alina has recently been recognized with the Outstanding Cambridge Learner Award for her achievement in the IGCSE Mathematics Examination, where she attained the highest marks globally. It's a testament to Alina's dedication and commitment to academic excellence. Her accomplishments serve as an inspiration to her peers and a source of pride for the entire GSG school community. We extend our heartfelt congratulations to Alena Santosh for her outstanding achievements and wish her continued success in her academic journey. The science of today is the technology of tomorrow, said by Edward Teller. What an inspiring quote, isn't it? Interesting indeed. In a recent study published in Nature Neuroscience, researchers unveiled a remarkable breakthrough. They developed a model capable of predicting entire sentences people are hearing by analyzing their brain activity. What's even more remarkable is that this model was trained using functional magnetic resonance imaging scans from just three volunteers, showcasing impressive accuracy. Researchers are actively working on a brain-computer interface that could potentially translate thoughts into words, offering hope for those who have lost the ability to speak due to injuries or medical conditions. Developed by the University of Texas at Austin, this interface represents a significant milestone. It's the first time entire sentences have been generated from non-invasive brain recordings obtained through MRI scans. Truly groundbreaking. While traditional MRI provides structural insights, functional MRI offers a deeper understanding of brain activity during specific tasks. The strides made in neuroscience are profound and the potential impact on individuals' lives is immense. Cameron has made a significant stride by launching the world's first routine vaccine program against malaria. The RTS vaccine, developed by GSK and approved by the WHO, is a pivotal development in combating malaria. It's designed to complement existing preventive measures like bed nets. Malaria remains a serious health threat, particularly in Africa, where it claims the lives of nearly half a million children under five each year. However, Cameroon is taking proactive steps. After successful trials in countries such as Ghana and Kenya, Cameroon is pioneering the administration of doses through a routine program. And here's the remarkable part. 19 other countries are set to join the initiative in 2024 as reported by Gavi. 
this marks a significant milestone in global fight against malaria. My book recommendation is Salem's Lot by Stephen King. It's a timeless horror classic that weaves a tale of terror within the confines of a small, seemingly idyllic town. In this 1975 novel, King introduces readers to Jura Salem's Lot, a place that becomes the battleground between supernatural forces and the frailty of human nature. Ben Mears, a writer with a haunted past, returns to his hometown only to find it succumbing to an inexplicable darkness. The story unfolds with deliberate pacing, building suspense and intensifying the horror as the town's residents grapple with the unknown. The characters are vividly drawn to each other, each contributing to the novel's rich tapestry of fear and despair. King's prose is classic, capturing the essence of small town life and infusing the narrative with a nostalgic touch which makes this book a must read. My book recommendation is The Ugly Truth which is part of the Wimpy Kids series written by Jeff Kinney. It follows the story of a teenage boy named Greg Heffley, who undergoes unexpected changes in his life and finds himself growing up faster than he anticipated. Throughout the book, Greg experiences various awkward and peculiar moments in his crazy funny life. Many of us can relate to the daily household struggles humorously depicted in this book. The Ugly Truth is a delightful read that will definitely make you laugh out loud. So viewers, with this we have come to the end of this episode. Stay tuned for our next episode where student hosts like us will be bringing to you interesting news coverage from our campuses and the latest news bites from all around the world. Do write back to us, share your ideas, feedback or any interesting topic that you would like us to cover by writing to us at smart360 at the rate globalindianschool.org. Until next time, this is Nupur and this is Samya. Signing, Signing off. off.